What's up, everybody? It's your man, Real DJ Black. Real quick video about the Denon Prime Go and virtual DJ uh, compatibility. All right, everybody's making these videos about, yeah, you can hook up the virtual DJ to the um, Prime Go. So I'm just making this video so nobody else will run into this problem. When I did the, um, this is what you gotta do, real quick. You gotta go to older builds on Virtual DJ's website. VirtualDJ.com slash download slash build dot HTML. And then you gotta go to early access. One of these, this is the one I picked. That's the one I got. All right, so download that, and you shouldn't have no problems getting in there. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. There's a 2.3.0. Oh. Uh, I don't think it matters which one you start first. Virtual DJ or the uh, or the Prime Go, so I already got it open anyway. So uh, uh, I missed it because I'm on the battery. So if you don't if you don't catch it early enough, you gotta click on that circle and it'll go. So um, let's wait for this to boot up real quick. So then you pick computer. See, I'm slow. I've been missing it. All right. You go to source down here. And you click click the computer. Before they update that computer wasn't there. And there you go. Virtual DJ. View. Now, one problem that I'm having that I need to, uh, I'm going to work on fixing that is that when you play this, you take the fader all the way over here, you still hear. Unless the fader be all the way over here, you should still hear it on that. But you don't. So it's like reverse. So I need to go into the uh, configurations and and check that out and see what's going on with that. Yeah, right here. So this is the fader. It was an automatic at first, and it's still doing the same thing. So uh, I need to. Um, Mess around with that for a minute. Crossfader. So I'll play around with that for a second, but that's what you got to do to get the virtual DJ on your Denim Prime Go. All right. DJ Black, I'm out. Talk to y'all later. Peace.